It's my feel good breakfast show. Oh, welcome back, you beautiful souls. This is S3 opening up, and we are live right here on Expresso. And it's another installment of the culinary hotline bling. Ching, ching, ching. I love this part. <laughs> now we're joined by our favorite chef, Chef Clem in the building. And we have all, if you have any questions on all things in the kitchen, or if you need some help getting out of those sticky foodie situations, we got you covered, fam. You can call us right now on 021-110-5552. And that's all you need, and we will serve you all the answers that you need for the day. Chef Clem, I miss you, my man. How you doing, brother? It's been so long. <laughs> it has, man. Welcome to why, the why, why are you being so scarce, man? I don't know, eh? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> check, I've been traveling because you're allowed to travel. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm here. I'm here yeah, now. I think it's because you've been serving up some good stuff for us yes. for winter. What have you got, man? So today we're going to switch things up. I want people to call us. To the viewers out there, give us a call because I am so interested in today's topic. I want to hear about all your home remedies. Ooh. Colds, blues, everything, whatever you got. We know winter's coming. Yes. So, and we know how many like old wives' tales and... Oma's recipes and the puhu this yeah. and the brandy this and, and I, I love it. I'm so keen it. to see what comes okay. through. Yeah. So so what, have, what have you got for us, okay. man? I'm going to talk about my favorite one in a little bit, but let's okay. talk about. I'm going to make like a nice little, a little tea that's just going to lift our oh, spirits. Are we, are we dying? Like a little bit of tea. Yes, yes. We are very proudly South African. Another proudly South African ingredient is rooibos. Yes. And it's just packed with so much goodness. We know all about it. Antioxidants, so, lots of health, lots of all the good stuff. That's why the list goes on. Because I'm here all those little, little tips and things are going to come from you. So I thought, let's just take the rooibos as we know it. Let's just step it up a little bit. Okay, so rooibos goes into some boiling water. All right. Then let's go with some ginger. Love ginger. Such okay. an immune boosting ingredient, man. It's just so, so good for you. And opens oh. up your sinuses. Yeah. It's like awakens your senses. If you buy ginger and you buy quite a bit of it, I freeze my ginger immediately. You freeze it. I okay. freeze it with the skins on and I freeze it. Okay. And then when I need it, I just take a microplane, boom, 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 boom. Mm. Use it from frozen. And it lasts in your freezer for who knows how long. Okay. It just lives there. Oh, so my right. ginger always goes into the freezer. That way it locks in the goodness, locks like in the flavor, that. and doesn't change the texture. You know, sometimes when you leave your ginger out and it gets a bit pop. Yeah, freeze is the best thing. So right, I'm just gonna you. slice up some ginger, just break off a thumb, and then and just slice it up. While well, Clem is busy with that, of course, you guys, if you are looking to find out what's going on here right now, we're making a tea. It's an immune booster. It's perfect for winter, and you can get the recipe inspiration right on expressoshow.com right now. But stick, a, stick to this. Pay attention. We're we doing it right now, live, right now. Yeah. Do you know what this is? More ginger? It looks like ginger, but I'll give it away now. Uh, is that turmeric? It's turmeric. Yes, it is. It is. Yes, And we yes, can now yes. get it fresh, and it's... It's can I, can I actually smell that? I know a, you washed your hands earlier, so I'm I think maybe because it smells like a little bit of like ginger because it's a slice of ginger now. Ooh. But it's almost got like a metallic smell. It to is it. more ginger than turmeric. I, yeah. I, I, if, if I was so to be honest I think, with you. Know what, uh, you know what I did? I think that's because I used the same knife. Let me just slice it up again. <laughs> let, me, let me just do that again Let's for you, it again, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow, it, uh, definitely. There we go. Okay. Give that a smell. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you it definitely was the knife that I was smelling there. It's got like this metallic... Fresh? What would happen if I just like... Chewed this, can I? Right, so a few years ago on Afternoon Express, Jeannie just had her teeth done before the segment started and yeah. she chewed a piece of turmeric before the segment started. Her teeth went lumo yellow, okay? <laughs> she just really? went for like a quick little polish at the dentist quickly before the show and her teeth went lumo yellow. I would not suggest okay. chewing okay, fine. on turmeric. <laughs> Unless you want to have a bright yellow smile. No, nah, I want to keep my, my smile TV ready. There we go. So let's okay. rather stay away from that. Let's keep it in the tea rather. Turmeric goes in, <laughs> then a little bit of honey. Honey is great. Honey, honey like, is great, man. It's, it's like a mother ingredient, this low GI, packed full of good energy as well. But on top of that, it's also got like good immune boosting ingredients in there, man. Exactly, especially if you're using your local honey, like honey from your area. And you know what's beautiful about our honey? We've got like a variety of honey because yes. we've got feinbos, because we've got indigenous plants, we've got natural frost. Our botanicals in our country is incredible. So that means that the bee's honey is gonna derive straight from that. So variations, flavor, class, prestige, Essay honey, wow. that's where you so, want it from Zanzi. Doing a little research on honey, and yeah. it's like, I'm, not, I'm not making these claims, but I read a few sites that actually say, if you consume honey from your area and you suffer from hay fever, by actually consuming the honey, it'll help out with your hay fever because 100%. the bees are sourcing pollen from your natural area that normally affects you. It's like you're getting climatized to the pollen How situation. How amazing is that? It's okay. so cool. So, yeah. a little, little few seconds of brewing, in I'm, I'm getting some good smells here already, by the way. It smells mm. amazing. 
So this one's for you, right? It's very hot, so I'm gonna cool Thank down you. a bit. When it cools Thank down, you can give that a taste. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that smells amazing. And that'll wake you up. That'll, if you're feeling down, you're feeling a bit fluey, you're feeling a bit stuffy, this is gonna help you. And the longer that ginger sits in there, the longer the ingredients sit in there, the better. Then, here's one that I also do. A lot of vitamin C from chili, right? Yeah. You know this. And I do this as well at home. A little bit of chili, Maybe you could take the seeds out, because the seeds will make it like spicy. You the don't seeds want the spice. Are the real fire, yeah. Yeah, you don't want the spice. You just want a little bit of the properties yeah. coming out of there. Drop that in there. That'll wake you up. That'll and do also, the job. Not only is it gonna wake you up, not only is it a great for like again for our health, but you know the added benefit of a chili is that it's gonna increase your metabolism. There we go. It's gonna increase your ability to burn fat because your metabolism is increasing to a higher level. So the fact that you have that and the fact that you're sweating because of the physical heat, it's like a detox as well, man. It is. So what a power tea you got going on it's here. Good, right? Okay. Yeah, it's now, good. The next one I grew up with, okay, and I didn't appreciate this next tea. I started doing a lot of research a few okay. years ago. Wow, because of the taste. Well, I, I appreciate the taste. I love when someone's brewing this tea, I'm like, first, people, some people don't like the taste of this tea. I'm obsessed with it. Okay. I love it. And it's this bush over here. Do you know what it's called? Is it fennel? No? It's no? Volda Als. Volda Als. Als. What? You know this Als? It's also called Artemisia Afra. Oh, I, can do this snap. I think every granny I have ever visited has this in their yes. garden. Yes. What is this? What it's it also is? It's called African wormwood. Okay. And then I started doing research last week. Oh my goodness, this little herb that we've been drinking from this bush for years and years. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna put it out there. This is one of the mir most miraculous herbs I've ever like, found in my life. Creepy, man. I don't know about okay. this. What's so, going on? Here's what I know about yeah? it. I, I've always had it as a tea, mm. but I found that you can use it as a vapor. So put it in hot water. If you're feeling a bit stuffy, cold, flus, bit of a fever, okay. inhale the vapors. For a spiritual right. system, yes. open up, okay. Okay, the list of things that this thing, uh, okay, again, we're not making any scientific statements here. We're not putting it out, we're not saying, we're just saying, we, it, it, just, just, just try it, okay? They claim that this will help you with colds and flus with nausea. If you've had a rough night parting the next morning, drink this. If you've got sore muscles and bones from after workout, put this in your bath. What? Um, babies that have had jaundice, you give them this. Some people oh, use this okay. during this time of COVID. Again, we're not making any claims, but they went and started drinking this while they were, while they were like dealing with the, sim the COVID yeah, symptoms. Yeah. This miracle herb, I, like, I, honestly, I'm still busy doing research because it's just... I think you need to be careful, man, because what this means is, if it, if it, is this good? All, and I apologize, this is another disclaimer maybe for all the moms and grannies out there that have this in their garden. I apologize for Mzanzi that's about to probably steal this out of your garden right. because they're going to after this. Because so I do apologize. Let's <laughs> also talk about this. If you have this else growing in your garden, you are like, you, you, it's, yeah. I'm telling you, Neighbors will know about it because I, my parents have it, so I got it from my parents. But before they had it, I used to just like literally, does anybody have else, anybody have else, whatever, you know, or like asking people around to try and find it because it genuinely makes you feel so good. It's an immune boost. It's, it's like, it's uh, such a miracle. Herb. Okay. This, is, this is what I love, Clem, and I, I, I've got to put this out there because earlier and a week ago, we actually asked you, the viewers, for some tips on beating the flu and see what they were coming up with. And you had some of those old wives tales we were talking yes. about. And we've got some epic comics here. So let's look at uh, the first one that we We've got is from Tlantle F. Alsi, I think, and she says vitamin C, fish oil, brown sugar, and black vinegar. Wow. How's that for combo? So I, can, I will just try I can definitely see flavor. the vitamin C and the fish oil because the right. omegas and maybe threes yes. and sixes, that's really good for you. Joan Cameron says ginger, which you've got here, garlic as well, which we know is incredible. She has a drink with honey plus vitamin C, which can be found in citrus fruits. And if you can afford right to buy here. tablets or capsules for extra protection, go for it. Don't forget to still keep active. And if it's just for walking around the block, it's still going to be good. Absolutely. That's a great one, I love that. We've got two yeah. more left here. We've got Nolo Vuyo saying, hot water, ginger, onion or garlic, and honey mixture. Another thing I've heard with onion, people put onion in their sock when they're sleeping. Right. And it's apparently gonna draw out, have you heard of that? And if, at home, if you've heard about that, because I've heard about that, have you tried it? I really <laughs> want to know, have you ever tried that? I've heard about that too. And like you said, someone spoke about the lemons. Absolutely, add a slice, a few slices of lemon to this tea as well. Just add that vitamin C and flavor as right. well. All right, well Clem, look man, I know we're gonna get stuck in here and we've got more coming up, but uh, while I sip on this goodness, guys, stick around, we've got another session coming through later. Get your calls in, we're gonna answer everything when it comes to our health tips and topics, or maybe even you have a kitchen fail that you want Chef Clem to sort out for you while we sip on our immune booster and this tea you guys, call in, call in, we're waiting. <laughs> See you soon. It's my feel good
Oh, what a cool initiative, man. And everybody, I'm encouraging you to get involved in that. But we're back in the kitchen, though, and it's time for that culinary hotline bling. <laughs> ting, ting, ting. I was alone. Was I alone there? No, 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 we always got you. We always got you. So we are obviously joined by Chef Clem. Our foodie panel is here to help you out with any of the culinary conundrums that you might have, any questions, any tips that you need in the kitchen. Don't worry, Mzanzi, we got you. And don't forget that number is 21 110 and this is where it's going to come through. So call, 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 and we got all the answers for you. But early in the show, of course, Clem, we did a beautiful tea. I'm still sipping on it, loving it. It's gotten me into such a good mood, man. It is, eh? I'm feeling the vibe. So, so we're drinking health. We're huh? drinking immune boosting. Is there a way to possibly eat that way? Right. So this is a really cool recipe because it restores your electrolytes, help you feel, feel a little better. Like, you know, if you've got the cold and flu, they always give you chicken soup. Yes, and yes. Like it just genuinely makes you feel better and it's easier to stomach. And a good thing about this recipe is that you can use things in your fridge that you've got already. And also it's a great way to clear things out of your fridge. Like the leftovers that you don't know what to do with. All the leftovers. Okay. I'm trying to think of a vegetable that wouldn't work in here. Can't think of it. Any vegetable you got in the back of that fridge, in that veggie drawer, where things where veg vegetables go to die. <laughs> Bring them out, <laughs> chop it up, grate it, get it into. That's so true. You know what? I've seen that before in a few houses. You've got like potatoes and, and, and a few things, and they start to like regrow. They've been there for so long. Right? Have you seen that? <laughs> and you open up, and there's like a. Because <laughs> you're growing Jumanji in your fridge. Things are like happening. The, and things the are moving. only thing you need to do is roll the dice, and then that will be it. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So. Chicken stock is one of the easiest things to make. You get a chicken, you roast it, you right. the meat off, you take those bones, you put it back into some water, carrots, onions, bay leaves, and it's something that gives you, that you would have thrown away, that gives you a whole nother ingredient, chicken stock. Nice. <clears throat> Lives okay. in your freezer, stays there all along, just freeze it nicely, label it so you know it's from 2021, <laughs> so you know. And it's, it's just a, a nice way to use something that you would have thrown away. Yeah. But chicken stock went in there. Then let's talk about Onions. Onions are really great. No one's called through yet about using the onion under their under, under your feet on the socks. I I'm really want to know about that. I'm telling you, it's a thing, man. I'm I want to hear. I want to hear. <laughs> okay. Onions go in, and everything's just going to simmer. And the longer it simmers, the more flavour you're going to get out of it. Okay. Nice. So, baby marrows. You always buy them. There's always like two or three that you just feel like you don't want to add to a dish. And those two or three, again, they just like they just pass away. Just like they think. Grated, grated. See, you've done a nice little great job on that, which is really cool. A so great that's obviously job. To, yeah. Oh, well done, right? I like that. <laughs> and then obviously, I see you've got some colors, beta carotene coming through from right? the carrots over there. So we're talking about half good eyesight as well, which I absolutely love. And I always say, like, beta carotene, all my orange vegetables, yeah. don't add them. So, like, your pumpkin, you yes, butter yes, that, am yes, I right? Yes, 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 that's yeah. correct. The high amounts of that, for mm -hmm. sure. And I love pumpkin in soup. It, the texture kind of, it just kind of breaks away and adds some thickness to your soups. So if you want to have a soup, you want to thicken it slightly, grate yes. some pumpkin in it, put it in your soup, it'll cook down and just thicken your soup naturally, which okay. is really great. So, carrot goes in, then celery. Celery. Get that in there. Add such a savory flavor and yes. use the leaves as well. Don't throw the leaves away. Okay. Put that in your soup as well. Especially the, the leaves work really well in soup because they have more celery-like flavor, more savory note to your soups. Mm. Then chili. And also, okay. you know what? It's very good to use the entire plant. And, and maybe this is a cool tip for you guys back at home. From the seed all the way through to the shaft and the leaves and the flower. And the it root. has a varying... And the root Celeriac itself. Celeriac of, yeah. Exactly that. And the entire plant has varying levels of acidity as well. So with that comes balance. With that comes all the value. So it's more like a, a full spectrum versus isolating one component of the plant. So again, the leaves are adding more health benefit to it as well. Absolutely. Beautiful stuff. Chili. Again, I love hey, chili. Hey, did you hear that? Hey, hey. That's oh all right. Oh my goodness. I, I okay. Gotta, I gotta answer this, right? You have to. Okay. Let's go. All right. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Culinary Hotline Ring, how may I help you? Good morning, Chef Clem. Hello? Hi, good morning, Chef. Good morning, yeah. good morning. How are you doing? I'm good as Marlon speaking now, yeah. What was the name? Say that again. Marlon. Marlon. Marlon, welcome, my man. Welcome to the kitchen. Welcome to the culinary hotline. What is your question today? So I can enjoy myself every morning watching you. Listen, I have a question that I have to ask her concerning her health, like about my chest. Is it, is it healthy for me to have vinegar mixed with sugar and honey, like a teaspoon or, or a dessert spoon every morning? Is it healthy? All right, so he's asking for vinegar, sugar, and, and honey. honey. All right. Which is very yeah. similar to one of the other suggestions we got on Facebook. So I'm, 
I know that vinegar also helps with starting your metabolism, right? Mm, mm. The the honey, we spoke about the properties of the honey, and I'm guessing the sugar might just be in the to help probably be a little more palatable, but then maybe the honey can do that Pardon, really. This is what I wanted to say exactly. So the honey, yes, it's great because it does have all of that. But I think when it comes to vinegar, there's a big differentiation between normal vinegar and something like apple cider vinegar. And apple cider vinegar is the one you want. And apple cider vinegar that has the mother ingredient. Now that's very important. You get filtered, unfiltered and raw. Now the raw unfiltered stuff is the good stuff. It's got all the remnants of the, of the quality that you need in apple cider vinegar. And again, when we're talking about acidity, Apple cider vinegar as a compound is so acidic, just like a lemon. But when it goes in the body, the way it gets broken down, it is such a big alkaline source. And a lot of people use uh, apple cider vinegar, not normal vinegar, apple cider vinegar with your honey. Now, the one thing I want to warn you about this, because I'm telling you this only because I've tried this and I did it, and it's incredible. It's such a good source, but you need to be careful with that apple cider vinegar. If it's the first thing you put in your body at the start of the day, the lining of your stomach might get affected because of the initial acidity that's going in before your body breaks it down. So what do you suggest down. we do? So I suggest you break it down by first warming the lining of the stomach up. They always often suggest something like a piece of a banana. The potassium in there is going to help activate the body so that it can then go through a better process of breaking down that. But I've just got to answer that question very specifically, Marlon, because I used to have honey, cayenne pepper, and apple cider vinegar as my go-to in the morning. It was incredible. The only issue I had was uh, also was close to developing because of the harshness of the apple cider vinegar. All right, Marlon. I had to get deep because it's a very good question, and a lot of people try it, and they think any vinegar is good. Apple cider vinegar with the mother With the mother. That's the one you yes. want, yeah. I hope that answers your question, Marlon. If he's still there. My question is that uh, uh, what you're giving me now is that I should be actually be, be alarmed at uh, how much will you I do take in. Is how much? It? All right, so I would say, especially with the apple cider vinegar, you don't want to go big at all. So a teaspoon is more than enough. Mix that through with some lemon as well, another teaspoon of honey. You don't have too much honey because it is still a carb. It's still going to give you a lot of sugar, although it's low GI. So have just a dash of that to sweeten it up. And then, of course, all the other good ingredients that you've got going on here, Clem. Ryle, I have to get involved with that question because it's I such an important I love one. that. I love that. This is why we brought Ryle on the second day. <laughs> and I love it. You used to taught me, specifically, apple cider vinegar, go for the one that has the mother in yeah, it. Yeah. I love that. Stuff. Marlon, thank you for your question. Ryle, you please, have finished your soup, though, and I, I No, you as I'm you like, I'm, I'm pulling up a chair. I'm like, I'm getting ready for what? South Africa, please. The doctor's in the house. <laughs> one Can more, you give one, us one a One more thing I wanted to say, Chef Glenn, before I interrupted you and before we wrap this beautiful session up, the chilies in there, mm -hmm. there's something called, I, thought, I think it's called kerosene or kerosene. Yes. That's what is in that chili that actually gives you that sharp, pungency, the strongness, and it's also associated with the metabolism kick and the health right. factor as well. So just if you were wondering, that's what you have here. But Chef Klim, this has been a goodie, man. Dr. Kalneha, Ryle, it's been a So okay, <laughs> sharing you personal going experience. In? But of course, guys, keep sending through your questions, and that's unfortunately all the time that we have for now on our culinary hotline. Chef Klim and I would go on for days if you could, but of course, you can reach out to us personally, and don't forget the number 021-110-5552 for all the culinary questions that you do have. Maybe you can message him later on the show, and he might answer some of them, but he is a busy man. <laughs> but otherwise, thank you so much for coming for those questions. And that's a wrap up for our culinary Hotline bling, ting, ting, ting. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>